50% of adults have red mole-like lesions on the skin. They range in color from bright red to purple. First, they are small in size and flat, maybe tenth of a millimeter in diameter. But over time, they grow larger, and they expand in thickness. They rise from skin and becoming dome-shaped or round-shaped red lesion, which looks like mole but red. Such lesions is called cherry angioma. The size of cherry angioma can be from very small, less than a millimeter, to one or two centimeters in diameter. They can be round-shaped, dome-shaped or flat. They occur most often as multiple lesions, usually found on the trunk or proximal extremities. They are rarely seen on the face, hands, and feet. Cherry is called because of its color and shape, and angioma means benign growth of tissues which mainly consist of small blood vessels. Cherry angiomas may bleed profusely if they are injured. Cherry angiomas have no association with any cancer or malignancy. The numbers of such lesions increases with age. That's why sometimes it is called senile angiomas too. Cherry angiomas can develop gradually over age or can also occur in an aggressive eruptive manner in any age. Eruptive cherry angiomas indicates the sudden development of multiple and extensive cherry angiomas. They may be seen in the following conditions. A side effect of topical nitrogen mustard used for the treatment of vitiligo. A side effect of cyclosporin. Chronic graft host disease. Lymphoproliferative diseases. Human herpes virus 8. The underlying cause for the development of cherry angiomas is not understood but. Risk factors include. Aging, pregnancy and mutation of the genes. Knock and GNA11. Diagnosis. Cherry angiomas diagnosed clinically by appearance. These lesions have no malignant potential. Although they have no malignant potential, they may be confused with amulinotic melanoma, which, in contrast, is more friable. Examination with a dermatoscope shows characteristic red, purple, or blue-black lagoons. Treatment. These lesions generally do not require treatment. If they are cosmetically unappealing or are subject to bleeding angiomas may be removed by electrocautery, a process of destroying the tissue by use of a small probe with an electric current running through it. Treatment for smaller lesions includes local anesthesia with 1% lidocaine, followed by electrocauterization. Larger lesions are often treated with shave excision, with electrocauterization of the base. In addition, cryotherapy may be employed. Superficial lesions may also be treated with CO2 laser therapy. More recently, pulse dye laser or intense pulse light has been used with success.